In today's video, we're going to do what we always do. We're going to run through some sales and have a little update on some stuff. The other day, I found one more sticker. One meme sticker from the Lyft Escapade debacle. I'm going to be giving it away in today's video. It's the last one. The last one to ever exist. I don't even have one myself after this. <laughs> As always, we've got a couple of sales to go through and basically just see where the video takes us. Yesterday, I very patiently waited for my new DJI Action 4 to arrive from Amazon, very patiently and very calmly. I just sat and when it arrived, it arrived. There was no fuss. That looks like an Amazon. That's gotta be an Amazon delivery. Come on. That's not good. No. I'm on van watch, not going to hear another van. Please. I've got to go and take my daughter to school and I can't miss it because I've got to use a pass code. No, it's not a van. <laughs> Can hear another van. I don't have long. I'll just drive off. <laughs> Basically, I've got to give this Amazon guy a pass code to click my items because it's so valuable. In their eyes, I suppose. That's an Amazon van. I just know it. I just know it. I know that sound anywhere. <laughs> There's a backward engine on that. We did it. We did it. We did it. I've got to take Ada to school in a minute and obviously I wasn't going to be here. I look so desperate, don't I? I'm just more desperate to get it so I haven't got to piss around. And it's raining, otherwise I'd say to him on the ring camera, here's the passcode, stick it, stick it somewhere in your ass. Come on. He's only got one, that's not what I'm after. That's not what I'm after, is it? That's a bit annoying. I reckon he'll realise and come back, you know. He's reversing. Come on, mate, you know you've got one. Not just one today, there's more. Come on. Not make sense. That's okay. I'm telling you the one parcel. And back again to no, you. No, don't you worry. Thank you. Thank you, my man, thank you, dude. Oh. <sighs> Look, I knew, all right, I knew. Now this little bad boy, the GoPro 7, has done me very well for many, many years. I had this in, I think, 2018. Whenever the GoPro 7 came out, that is when I got it. And I've been building my channel ever since with this. So those of you that are thinking about starting a channel when you, or you've got a channel when you want to start doing a bit of action stuff, like going out to the car boot sales because you don't normally do it, but you don't want to spend 500 quid on the camera, you don't need to. All my videos, if you go back and watch them all now, previously, any GoPro footage you see is from this. Plenty. You don't need 4K, you don't need 2.7K, you need 1080p, and that is it. We go around car boot sales buying and selling junk. We're not trying to capture the bright details of the landscapes and see the details inside an insect skin and whatever else they zoom in on. If you do want to and you can upload in 2.7 or 4K, fine, do it. It's going to take you a lot longer to render, it's going to take you a lot longer to upload, it's going to be a much bigger file for what we're doing. You don't need it. You don't. I've never uploaded in 4K. Just think of this like an extra eye, an eye that's capturing things that you can then play back to your audience. As long as it's clear, you're all right. This chair is spinning again. Thankfully, I've got another one coming. What was I saying? Yeah, so just go and get yourself a cam. It doesn't need to be the latest tech. Ignore the hype. Ignore the Apple effect where every year new tech comes out. You have to get the latest and greatest one. You don't. You don't. I haven't done the research yet, but GoPro 7 without a memory card. Screen protector has been on all its life with three batteries and a charger and a cage. Probably no clip. But the box is upstairs as well. I'm going to be selling that for about 100 quid. That's cheap. Might be 120, might be 150. I don't know. I haven't checked the market yet. But even 150. Do you know what I mean? Opposed to 500. So now we've got the new kit now. So I've been, I was playing with it yesterday. Shut up waffling, show the sales. First of all, going out, this has been seen on one of my videos. I picked this up from the car boot sale 
can't remember what for now. A few quid. I got really excited about it and got home to realise it wasn't massively great. But I don't think this is your real name, but this is what you go by. Bruv Butler has picked up this for about £18 and a few pence, I think. He was on at me for about a week or so to get it sorted out. And you know what I'm like? I just can't. I, I just can't do things immediately at the moment. It's weeding itself. I said I was never going to mention it again. Mr. Butler has picked this up for £18 and a few pence. So that pays for the whole bundle. And I've still got the other cards left. I think he wants those as well. But I'm not too sure what to do with those. Those manga ones, anime, whatever they are. Not manga. I don't know what to do yet. But yeah, really appreciate this one, mate. On its way to you shortly. Shell, one half of the lovely Shell and Dan has picked up the Jelly Cat. Is it Doppy Dino or something like that? Paid £3? £2? £2.50? I can't remember. Going out to Shell for £15 all in. She's got a nice collection of Jelly Cats from me now. And I can't imagine what the collection that she has actually looks like. Hopefully you've got a spare room full of them. But Dibba Dibba Doppy Dino is going to be on its way to you soon. Thank you guys. I really appreciate you both. He's got nothing to say. He's left him speechless. Can't believe it. Thank you, Shell and Dan. I can't wait to get rid of this fucking chair. £1.36 now. Really nice and cheap for this Southampton... Are they called Saints? I don't even know. I don't think they are. Southampton FC Football Club had this for ages and ages and ages. Had to reduce and reduce and reduce and reduce. Just could not move it. In the end, Zara picked this up on Vinted for about £1.26 or something. Let me just check that. £1.36. She sent me an offer. Bless her. She was... I think it's a she. I think you're a she. I don't bloody know her names anymore. But regardless, he, she, who cares... Zara has picked this up. Massively appreciate you on its way to you shortly. Well, there's me going to get cancelled. Finally getting rid of the junk purchases one pound at a time. This Power Rangers figure has sold from 1995 for £1 on Vinted. Does like all this little stuff. I'm hungry by the sound of it. Reese! Reese has picked up the Busby gun, the one that Ada found for one pound. It was what it cost because it was half price. It was two pound. That's one pound. We've sold it. He sent me an offer of three pounds twenty one. I declined and said four pound. And then he said, "Big fan of the channel. Sorry if that was too low." And then sent me an offer of four twenty. Please it. I said you should have said. So I sent him an offer of three pound thirty three because we like weird numbers around it on Vinted. <laughs> so I don't know. Made cut the quid on top. Annoyingly, I have to give that to Ada. I paid for it. She found it though. Finders fee. Box I. We've sold Fifi, the feather duster thing from Disney, Beauty and the Beast. Words, difficult. One pound paid, I think, or 50p. Need to eat something. One pound paid or 50p. Four pounds sold. I can't fucking, fucking think today. Some little nerd said to me on a YouTube chat video. Why did you buy that for? You wouldn't even be able to get 10p for that one. CEX will give you a 50p or something. Shut up. The sealed game. Nintendo DS Sorcerer's Apprentice. Sold for £1.50 on Vinted. Not a lot, but it still sold for more than 10p, didn't it, you little nerd? This next one is a bunch of books that are in there and I can't be asked to drag them out just yet, but I really appreciate the sale. Love your videos, Ricky. Keep up the positivity. Please decline the offer if it's too low. Just wanted a funny number. I massively appreciate it. So I just said, sold £6.19 for this stack of Games Workshop White Dwarf magazines. There's a few there. But six, there's six. So about a pound each I get for them. Thanks, mate. Keep up the entertainment. It helps put a smile on my face on a bad day. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. And then I have to click into the label because everybody has silly usernames on Vinted. I don't know their names. <laughs> Lewis. Big up, Lewis. I massively appreciate you, mate. They'll be on the way to you at some point today. Yeah. And that's all for Vinted. eBay now, I suppose. We're here, aren't we? Might as well. Right, that is the Vinted done and the private sales. I'll do eBay in a moment. I do have a phone call in a moment with a personal trainer, one that John's been using. Ayrton seems like a nice lad, so I'm going to have a little chat with him, see if we can work together, see if we can't sort out this dad bod, get back into some kind of shape, sort me out a little bit, and start to feel a bit better about myself. You know what I mean? Obviously, I'd like to look good, but I don't. I'm at the age now where, unfortunately for Emma, I've got a missus, I've got kids, I'm in a relationship. I don't need to go out peacocking, pruning myself, trying to look in peak physical condition like I used to before. 
when Emma met me. She had about a year of me in good condition. I catfished her. Because she didn't realise what was hiding underneath this. <laughs> What's my point? Yeah, I want to feel better. I know how much better I feel when I'm in the gym. I'm doing consistent workouts and following a program. I followed the program before, fantastic. It really got me into my world of gym. And then I went on to thinking I was a professional and did a YouTube channel about it many, many years ago. Now I've just got dad bod vibes. Pure dad bod vibes. Pure dad bod. Pure dad bod vibes. I'm, I'm not eating in the mornings. I don't eat until like 11, 12, 1. And then when I eat that, it's normally a snack from Greg's. And then I don't eat again until the evening. Then what I do is I pile on a massive plate. I want to cook some decent food. But I see that there's a pizza that'll take 20 minutes with no effort. And some chips that'll take 20 minutes with no effort. I bang them both in together. And that'll be my dinner. Do you know what I mean? Sick of it. So I need to have a chat with Ayrton. I think it's Ayrton. I'm not very good at saying that. I think it's the Ayrton Sienna, the F F1 race racing car driver. If I'm butchering his name, I'll find out in a minute because I'll ask him on the phone call to tell me how to say it. But yeah, we're just going to have a chat and see if we can vibe. And if we can, then we'll work together. He's going to do me a program, a meal plan, workout plan. I know a lot about um, nutrition. I know a lot about fitness. What I don't have the capacity to do, which is what I was telling Emma, is to put it all together myself because I get bored. It's To me, it's writing. It's 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 scribing. It's... Stop it. It's, you know, I'm not very good. My brain doesn't work like that. I can't sit and concentrate and work things out and write things down because my handwriting gets really bad after like two lines because I'm bored of writing. I don't have that capacity to do that. It's all down to the ADHD. I'm very aware of that, but it is what it is. So what I need to do is outsource that, let somebody else figure out my weight, divide that by whatever, times that by this to get my protein, my calories, and somebody else can do all that for me. I know there's calculators and stuff, but they can't give me meal plan ideas workout plans i think what i'm going to struggle with this time is when i first had a plan i didn't know about three sets of this three sets of 12 i didn't know about benches in flat bench into flies i didn't know about push pulls i didn't know about buys and tries using pull muscles along with push i didn't know about any of that now i do so i'm like i don't know what to say i don't, I don't know how to, i don't know what i'm trying to say basically i'm going to give my whole i'm going to, i'm going to give myself to him i'm all yours basically and just see what happens that's if we like each other after this phone call i'm waffling i need to get on let me go and have this chat and then we'll come back and do the ebay or i might show you the ebay before depending on the timing of the clips but i'm trying to sort my life out basically so you know what i've just gave it all that waffle and realized that the alarm that went off was my 20 minute reminder alarm just to make sure that i can finish up what i'm doing before i have the phone call because i need to have alarms in my life so i can show you the ebay stuff and then we'll do a giveaway so we're starting to move through into the profit. Everything now from these Amiibos are profit. And we're moving through them quite quickly now. We've got a note as well. Yo, Ricky, been a Chazza Hunter for years now doing music and games. But I'm learning so much from your videos, man. Thoroughly enjoying the hunt more than ever now because of you. Keep up the great content. Cheers, Chris. Chris, on its way to you soon, mate. This one is sold for £11 on an offer. Really appreciate you, brother. Now, I recognise the username for this. I recognise the username. I think it's Dave. One hundred. I'm not going to give the username out. But I'm pretty sure it's Dave. Dave's picked this up. The Walker cap from that big cap bundle sold for 9.11. I saw the note, brother. Nine pounds all in. Really appreciate it, mate. On its way to you very shortly. It's a Walker cap. These do a lot of exhaust systems and stuff. Some more Amiibos now for a grand total of £28.98. pence. We have sold Shulk, Super Smash Bros, and Meta Knight Kirby, whatever it's called, Meta Knight maybe, from the Kirby series. £28.98. Beautiful. And we finally sold the little lamp. Shame we didn't have nowhere for this, but it's really cool. It's a vintage Marks and Spencer, but not St. Michael's. Unless it's from that era, but they don't do it on electricals, I don't know. Just a really cool little futuristic lamp, isn't it? Paid £2.50, I think. Or was it four quid from the St. Michael's? Less than a fiver. <laughs> Sold for £31.99. pence. Beautiful stuff. Sega Prize Euro version of the Monkey Ball Monkey. Here sold for £10. £10. His name is AA. £40 we have sold. No, that's not it. Wait, it's so hard on the camera. £40 we've sold the little Kenwood stack system thing there. It's going to be nice to pack, isn't it? And they've all gone now. Somebody bought the very last lot. All five 
of the last LED drivers have sold for £32.45. They've gone. They're gone. It's the last of them now. No more. And that is all the Vinted, the Instagram and the eBay sales going out. We're on Saturday now. Saturday the 7th of September. And there's no car boot sales. My Saturday car boot sale did still run. But I'm not going to that stocky field. No, no, no. I might go to Thatcham tomorrow if it's on. See where your package is six stops away. Oh, yeah. I ordered pre-workout yesterday in advance. I'm going to go to the gym in a minute and go and sign back in again. Go and sign up again. Because I think no matter what, if... I can't see it happen. He seems like a really sound lad. I've checked out his Instagram. I'm going to put it up here preemptively anyway, even if we don't work together. But I've looked at his Instagram. Seems like a really sound lad. So even if we don't get on, we don't agree to do this plan together, because that's what this call's about, to see if we like each other. I don't want to spend 12 whatever weeks with somebody in contact. If you don't like him, Leo. Seems like a nice lad. So whether we do this plan together or not, I'm going to go back to the gym. That's why I bought that pre-workout. It's my birthday coming up. Took Ada to McDonald's yesterday, then popped into JD on the way home. Bought some new trainers and Emma said, are you sure you want trainers? I was like, yeah, mate. Are you sure you've got a birthday coming up? I was like, yeah, my birthday's 27th of October. I want to buy these and I'll buy them now. And I brought them. They're really smart. Air Max Limited 3s. I like them. Cream. Whatever. Anyway, she's like, what am I going to give you for your birthday now? So just give me some gym kit. So we'll see. this is not going to become a fitness channel. Just letting you know where my brain is. Because I want to start... Looking after myself. But I'll do this. Two weeks. Quit. But this is why I'm hoping Ayrton's gonna... Ayrton's gonna... I will get your name right properly, mate. This is why I'm hoping... This is why I'm enlisting the help of Ayrton. If we can get this done. Because I need some accountability. I need some guidance. I need some check-in. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't do it for myself. I don't love myself enough, unfortunately. Sad fact. We're not going to get into that too much here. But I don't. A lot of us don't. So I'm hoping that somebody can keep me in line, basically. On that note, what the fuck was I giving away? If you want your chance to win the very, very last... If you wasn't here for the saga, you probably won't understand it or care. But if you want your chance to win the very, very, very last sticker, and I'm not even going to own one after this, just drop a comment down below. That's all you got to do. On the next video, we're going to pick a winner for the frog. And on the video after that, Pick a winner for the sticker. Pick a winner for the sticker. Pick a winner for the sticker. Thank you all for watching. Really appreciate you. I'll let you know how the call with Ayrton goes on the next video. And we'll see you then. Take care. Love you. Goodbye. That wasn't very dramatic, was it? Insert a quick charity shop clip here. There wasn't much. I was about to leave and just... Well, I've just put this on Insta, so I was just going to show you that I'm there, but... That is a very interesting bag. I wonder if that's by them as well. I'll tell you about that one in a bit more detail in a bit. With the power of editing, we'll find a way to slip this into the video. Just went into the charity shop, as you saw. I was just about to leave, forgot I'd missed out the wallet section, always like to look in there, and found this really dope Cordroy edged out Rip Curl Australia wallet for a quid. One pound. That might be a personal. If not, I'll sell it. So then I had a quick check in the bag section and found this. I've not found a Shanghai Tang for ages and ages and ages. So this is the brand you want to be looking out for. I'll put a couple of screenshots up, but if you want to go and give it a quick Google or eBay search, I always call it a Google. I always mean just look it up. Yeah, Shanghai Tang look like just cheap whatever bags, don't they? But they can sell for good money. Clutch body purses or clutch purses, whatever you want to call it. Cross body purses. Purses. Ugh. Clutch bags and cross body purses sell really nicely. The more detail, the more intricate the material, leathers and suede, going to get more money. This one's quite an average standard material. It's padded as well, so it's quite nice. Inside zip pockets with no cash inside. But for four quid, I'm estimating 40 to 50 out of that. I'm estimating, could be more, could be less. I haven't done full research yet. But Shanghai Tang, keep a lookout for that one. I'll show you the label once again, because that's what sticks in people's minds. And when you're out and about, you'll see it. I'll find a way to put that into the video. I thought I'd jump in quite quickly while it's fresh in my mind. I've just got off the phone with Ayrton. I wish that would stop flashing. And 
he seems sound. I could definitely work with this bloke. So we're going to go for it. We're going to go ahead, start building a plan and making it work. We've got some work ahead. I've just been back to the gym and joined the gym again. I don't know why I'm pointing like I'm going to put any screen. Maybe I'll put a screenshot of my payment and there you go. I'm back at the gym. Fuck. I've done what I want, when I want, however I want for the last four years now. And look at the state it's got me in. So basically I'm daunted about being told what to do, when to do it and how to do it. That's what I need. Because look at the state. Look at the state of me. Mentally and physically. This is all about mental and physical health for me. Not just getting a six pack. You know what I mean? Obviously, that'd be nice. Emma might fancy me a bit more then. All right. Just an update. Back to the video. Nah, nah, nah. That is actually it now. Take care. Love you all. See you on the next one. Bye. What an absolute mishmash video that was. Is.